Okay, all good. Fantastic. So welcome everybody. Really delighted to welcome you to the second of our series for the PA Forum and the PA Guide Festive Showcases. Um, for those of you that might not know me, uh, my name's Daniel and I'm the founder of PA Forum. And also we have the lovely Una. Hi everybody. So I run the PA Guide in my spare time as well. <laughs> And um, the reason we wanted to bring this today to you is obviously we, we appreciate this is the time of year where everyone might be looking for Christmas inspiration, ideas for things to do either for your company, with your friends, with your family. And so we wanted to bring together some really fantastic partners that have helped and supported us over the, over the years and also some new partners um, to be able to showcase lots of different ideas um, that you can have on the lead up to the festive season. So we'd be really keen to know if you can just put into the chat box how many of you are looking for something to do for Christmas. Um, whether And if you can just put personally or professionally, we'd love to be able to kind of just get an, an idea from you in the chat box if you don't mind. That would be great. And if you could just... Give us a shout out, Una, that would be awesome. Yeah, of course. Um, so professionally, personally, professionally, personally, if family things allow, maybe professionally. <laughs> There's a lot of maybes at the moment, aren't there, unfortunately? Um, so yeah, 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 it seems like everybody's kind of hopeful that things will go ahead. So. Fantastic. So, you know, we appreciate that, you know, the rules and regulations might be changing quite somewhat at the moment, but hopefully these will give you a really good indication of some of the ideas and suggestions that we can do. So I'd just like to take the opportunity first to introduce our speakers today. So if you can give us a wave, we've got um, Michael from Escape Live. Hello. Hi. Uh, we've got Ellie from Hogarth. Hi, everyone. Uh, we've got Holly and Ashley from Marco Pierre White's at the Cube. We've got Jo from Selfridges. I'm not sure she's um, on, which is, I don't know. Yeah. No, I'm gonna just email um, Alla from Pond. Okay. And we've got my, uh, my old work husband, Jack, from The Grand. Hello, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I'm sure a lot of people can't wait to hear what's going on at The Grand. So we're, we're gonna really look forward to that. So what's going to happen is we are going to go around um, alphabetically and just introduce our partners. They're going to have five minutes to tell you a little bit more about what they do. Um, they hope might have some images or some presentations to show you. Um, and then if you want to watch back this recording afterwards, or if you want to share that with any of your colleagues, then you'll be most welcome. So without further ado, let me introduce you, Michael from Escape Live. Hi guys, hi everyone. Um, so I thought the easiest way to do this would to uh, be to give you a presentation. So let me just share my screen. Um, hopefully you can all see this. If you just give me a wave, just saying you can see. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, so Escape Live um, offer fully hosted and facilitated Christmas party packages. Um, we don't want you doing anything. We'll take care of it from start to finish. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just briefly go through the different elements we provide, and then I'll talk about how we can package those up um, into your party at Christmas. Um, so of course, the first element we have um, is our Rogue Agent Escape Room game. Um, so the premise of the game is an agent in the MI5 has gone rogue. Um, we need you to analyze the evidence, find out their identity, gather clues to incriminate them and ultimately track them down. Um, so it's a very interactive, highly immersive, very beautiful looking, um, almost escape room, but more of like a team challenge game. Um, so everybody who logs on and plays will be able to control it independently and work out the clues and crack that code as a team. It's of course hosted by a professional entertainer. Our entertainers are compares, actors, comedians, they are very used to entertaining um, and managing groups of corporates. Um, so that's our first option, our Rogue Agent MI5 game. The second option we have, um, and by the way, all of these screenshots and artwork, these are all from the actual games. Um, we, we really have put a lot of time into making them look beautiful. Um, so the second game is Shark, 
the grand debut. So you join Sherlock Holmes, who's an 18-year-old uh, chap on his maiden investigation in a 1920s themed murder mystery. So Lord Harrington of Chapelgate Manor has been murdered. You need to interact with the characters, walk through the game, gather clues, and try and crack the code. Um, again, you will have a professional game host, and it's highly immersive, very interactive, and you also have a games master on hand to provide clues and make sure everybody finishes all together. So those are our two escape room game options. We also have an option of a live magic and illusion show. Um, I saw a preview of this the other way, I was blown away. It's very Darren Brown, um, illusionist, uh, mentalism. They're an award-winning double act. Um, they're very funny guys. Um, and it's a professional setup. So they've got a studio in their warehouse. They have multiple cameras um, and they can pull people up on a virtual stage as well. So you can even tell them, you know, kind of who, who you want them to target um, as well. Maybe senior management is always a good one. We can make that bespoke. We can have bespoke elements. We can have branding in there. Um, as I say, very funny, very interactive. Um, and that lasts approximately 45 minutes. We also have a premium cocktail package. Um, so we can send to every single participant in your party, we can send three premium pre-mixed cocktails. All you have to do is open them up and pour them over ice. So they're delivered okay. direct to every participant's door. They go through the letterbox. There's nothing to sign for. Uh, you don't get that dreaded red slip from the post office. Um, and in terms of ordering, yeah. it's very easy to order. We'll ping you however many codes there are for the participants. They go to the website, enter their code and their address, and then they can actually choose from a list of uh, 30 alcoholic and non alcoholic cocktails. So they're 100 ml shorts, but half of that is spirits. So in effect, you're getting three doubles through the post for everyone. So those are all the elements. Um, we can combine those into three packages. We've got our platinum package at the top. You get an escape room game, magic and illusion, and cocktails, um, and that would be from £50 per person. Um, if you want to move to the gold level, you can get an escape room game and cocktails for, from £40 per person. And then the silver level would be magic and illusion and cocktails, and that is from £30 per person. So that is our private um, Christmas party packages. Um, we do have one more option, which is a, a kind of free for all, an open Christmas party, much like. Um, you would have, uh, you know, a Christmas party venue and you would book however many tables you need. Um, and you would join us for a fun-filled night where we bring the party and the celebrity to you. So Pat Sharp will be kicking off the night um, at with Fun House in Your House. So it's a live and interactive game. Think silly scavenger hunts, challenges, um, you know, who can build the biggest loo roll pyramid, that kind of thing with prizes to be won. After Pat Sharp, we'll have an amazing life magic and illusion show from Ben Hanlin, ITV's go-to magician. And then we finish off the night with our resident DJ taking all of your cheesy Christmas party music requests. Um, and of course, we include in the package those cocktails. Um, they would be the same cocktail package delivered to your door. And all of that would be 52 pounds. A person. So I hope I haven't gone over five minutes. I haven't seen Una wave at me yet. Um, but those are the options that we can offer for you guys, all fully managed. Awesome. Thank you so much, Michael. I love a bit of Pat Sharp. I <laughs> applied for the I, when I was a kid. I really, I can't then, wait for Pat Sharp. It's going to be brilliant. <laughs> yeah. I applied for Fun House and the Milky Bar Kid, and I didn't get any of them, unfortunately. <laughs> I know. So it'll be great to see him at Christmas. So thank you so much, Michael. Really appreciate it. And if you've got any questions, please pop them in the, the chat box and Michael can answer those for you. Um, next up then, we've got the lovely Ellie from Hogarth's Hotels. Welcome, Hi, Ellie. Hi, everyone. Right. I'm just going to share my screen with you all as well, if that's OK. Sorry, I'm one of these people that has a lot of windows open. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, I'm just going to see if I can cut you all off if I show the slideshow. There we go. So I'm Ellie, I'm from Hogarth's Hotels, um, and we've got two properties in our collection. So one over in Solihull and one over in uh, Kidderminster, which is Stone Manor. 
Um, so I'm just going to give you a brief introduction to the hotels to start with, and then I'm going to touch on our Christmas offering as well. So this is Hogarth Solly Hall. So as a brand, we've used um, the lockdown periods that we've had this year that seems to keep ongoing. Um, so we've rebranded our hotels during this time. We kind of assessed where we are in the market during the lockdown um, and have repositioned our branding, our hotels and our model um, to ultimately what we can do. We are um, prestigious weddings and events venue. But unfortunately, at the moment, weddings and events are kind of on the small scale. So we're really focusing on our dining and our rooms. So this slide shows you Hogarth Sully Hall. Um, we've redecorated the whole hotel from top to bottom. Um, top image is our restaurant. So we've redesigned our restaurant. Um, obviously, all COVID secure um, split up. Instead of using kind of plastic partitions, we've gone for um, box planters that we made during lockdown and have decorated um, just to be in keeping with our brand and our scale. So you'll see our brand, um, you'll see on the logo at the bottom is uh, the Hogarth hair that I'll introduce to you all. Um, and our, our new branding is about kind of bring the country vibes. We're a luxury hotel. We work with really good local suppliers and it's fresh local seasonal produce um, in a luxury environment. Um, so we've redone all of our bedrooms at Hogarth Solly Hall. So we have 48 bedrooms that we've decorated during lockdown. We've re put in loads of soft furnishings, um, new artwork, um, new furniture, um, and just they just look really fantastic at the moment. Um, we've, as I say, you've seen the restaurant, and we've also introduced a couple of private dining options. So, something that we launched in the summer um, was our afternoon tea in the woods, which is an exclusive private dining um, in our woodland area because we sit in 28 acres of land. Um, at the moment, today's been a nice day. We've got one outside today, which has been really lucky. But obviously, as the winter turns, we're just adapting that offering to be um, more weather, weather friendly at the moment. Um, and then moving on to Stone Manor. I haven't got as many updated images of Stone, but we are just in the process of updating Stone Manor. Um, decorators are here at the moment. We're just finishing off the bedrooms here. Restaurants being decorated, and we're just waiting for our public areas to be um, finished as well. We're just waiting for some new furniture to be delivered. So in both hotels, we've had a huge makeover from top to bottom. So it looks like we're opening with two brand new hotels, which is really exciting and fantastic. And as a booker, that should give you confidence that we're not going anywhere. We're using these testing times to readapt, realign, um, and keep products that you want to come to. <laughs> hopefully. Um, at Solly Hall, at the start of November, we are opening an afternoon tea lounge. Um, so one of our private function rooms will be now a private dining area um, that you can hire out, or in the daytime, it will be an afternoon tea area. Um, so we've got a grand piano going in there, lots of new furniture, um, and that's just going to be so popular. Um, also introducing a cocktail lounge as well towards the end of November, which I'll be able to share a little bit more with you at a later date. Um, and we've got some really, really big, fantastic projects in the pipeline for 2021, which I can't tell you about just yet, um, but it's something that is going to be so exciting. I'm sure you're all going to absolutely love. So just moving on to Christmas at the hotels. So this year, obviously, Christmas parties, as we know them, are a big ho, ho, no. Um, so we've, again, we've just looked at what we can do um, with what we've got, the space we've got. As I say, we're luxury venues. We specialise in great wines, great food. So we're really homing in on our dining um, and our space of our bedrooms. So this year, obviously, our private dining. At the moment, Solly Hall, we can't really mix tables. So Manor, we can still mix tables up to six. We're hoping by December this will change. Um, and we have set out three stylings for our private dinings this year. So you can add venue dressing into your private dining. Obviously, you're not going to be bringing the whole office out for a Christmas party, but you might want to bring kind of your closer colleagues for a meal or, again, your family. I know a lot of you said in the chat box you were looking for personal um, recommendations as well. Um, so we have got three venue dressing styles that we're going with this year that we can add onto your dining package. So this one, and I think it's probably my favourite one, this one, this is our country living offering. And it's kind of really the pine cones, 
ferns, really Christmassy feel. Um, our next one is, this one just gets me really excited for Christmas because there's lots of colour, you've got the roaring fire, the presents. This is called our whimsical fern. Um, and this is just really bright, colourful, fun for all the family. So during December, we are running our Santa Sunday lunches, um, which predominantly run in our restaurant, but by all means, you can hire a space for bring your family for a private room and we can dress the tables for you as well. Um, and then our next one is our all out decadence. Um, so this is a bit more lavish, the deep jeweled colors in, included in your venue dressing, you get do get all the crockery and the glassware. So this one you'll see the, the colored um, glassware that we've got on the table here. So all these packages can be added onto your private dining. Um, each day throughout December, we do run our festive menu, which is available in our restaurant alongside our a la carte menu and then we've got all our our private dining areas with a set festive menu as well and our afternoon tea runs from the 23rd of november um, and this is really exciting I'm, on our menu for this one we've got a belgian chocolate and gingerbread macaroon which i'm really excited to try um winter peas trifle um spice fruit cake tart so really getting into the festive spirit um which I'm sure you're all going to love. Thank you, Ellie. Thank you very much. Really so Thank just wrap that up. Up. I'm Ellie and that's my contact details. <laughs> no worries, are we, we, are we able to share the slides with everybody afterwards as well? Yeah, of course. Yeah, if you want to send them Fantastic. Over, right? Thank you so much. Okay, okay. so um, next up we have got Holly and Ashley from Marco Pierre White's at the Cube. I just share my screen. Hi, girls. Of course. Right. So um, we're just going to go straight in with what we're kind of offering for Christmas this year. Um, first of all, we just want to reassure you all, really, it's a really horrible time. We don't know what's going to happen in December. So if you come to me or Ashley, or even if you book online and you don't want to pay a deposit up front, that's absolutely fine. You can book your table and we just want to let you all know we're fully flexible with your requirements. If it gets the time and we've got more rules, we can either change your booking or, you know, give you a full refund if you pay the deposit or just work with you really. Um, so to start with, this is our festive lunch and dinner. So this starts on the 23rd of November. Um, it starts from £25 per person. As you can see, we do do tiered pricing. So depending on what day of the week you come, um, that's served 12 to 4.30 every day. Um, those are the menus there. So you can see we've got the turkey, we've got the Christmas pud. Um, Marco does actually create all our menus. Um, I think people think he doesn't have any involvement, but I am not allowed to publish anything until Marco has seen every, every menu. <laughs> um, so yeah, Ashley's gonna talk through Christmas day. Um, so we're still trying to make Christmas happen. It's not over for 2020. It's still much here on level 25, we're trying to make it extra special. And um, so it's just family you're looking for. We've got Christmas day from nine to five pounds per person, four course meal with entertainment. If you want more relaxed celebration on um, Boxing Day and New Year's Day, and um, we've still got those as well. We do all the hard work with the cooking and the cleaning. So you get to just relax and celebrate. And then we're still going with New Year's Eve and um, with three course meal, complimentary glass of fizz and entertainment to fully say goodbye to 2020, hopefully. And mm -hmm. uh, there's two different setting, sittings and we do um, a countdown as well in both of those from previous years so you still get the celebration that we will, are going to miss at midnight and then if you do book the first sitting we do have bar tables so we don't kick you out at seven we can carry on the celebration afterwards yeah uh, we do also the hotel is fully open at the moment as well um so if you did want to come for a festive dinner or lunch or new year's eve you can book in the hotel and um, the rates start from about 80 pounds for a standard double so the good bits, if you book before the 31st of October, um, any booking will give you a round of free glass of fizz um, up to a table of six. So that ends on the 31st. And then just for the PA guide, we do actually have five signed books, um, Christmas cookbooks signed by Marco. Um, so if you come to me or Ashley um, and book with us, or even if you go online and book a table, just make sure you note in the comments that you were on this call um, and we'll get one of those signed books sent out to you. And then just in general as well, we have got our private dining spaces. And um, so we've got our private dining room, which is in the top left corner that can do an intimate dinner for six guests. 
Uh, so it's secluded from the restaurant, it's all private to yourselves. We can add the decorations, you can theme your menus a bit more to make it more personal and special to still get that Christmas element in. We've also got bar tables and element um, entertainment. Um, we've got pop-up bar coming soon, which will have all your festive treats, live music, and then it will also be a walk-in bar with no reservations, no queuing, so it's a bit more easier and relaxed for the December period. We've got outdoor dining on our terrace space for up to six guests which helps with the new rules at the moment. Um, it's all fully heated, so you won't need to be wrapped up too much. And then we can also do corporate meetings for up to 24 people, um, if anyone is interested in those as well. All nice and safe, and all the information can be found on our website. If you, we have got Christmas brochures as well with all these packages in. So if you do want any of these sending out to you, um, just to have to hand, that's absolutely fine. We'll get that sorted. Um, and then just to finish off, we do also do vouchers. Um, we know it's really tricky at the moment get coming out. So if you even if you wanted to just do some corporate gifting, um, you can head to our website and buy those vouchers. Or if you can't, if you struggle finding it, just give us what, a message and we'll help you get those sorted. Um, and then I think we just got our details there for you. Lovely. Thank you so much, ladies. Uh, uh, by the way, um, can you do drinks on the terrace at the moment for groups of six that aren't from the same household? Yes, yeah. Okay, can I talk to you afterwards? I need to put something in. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> right. Okay, so next up there, we have got Joe from Selfridges. Who I think has joined. Are you there, Joe? Hi, can you hear me okay? You can, yes. Hi, Joe. <laughs> Really short and sweet. I'm so sorry. We've got an event going on, so it's all like go, go, go here at Selfridges. <laughs> um, so hi, I'm Jo from Selfridges, Birmingham. So um, I look after personal shopping here. So we're kind of here to make all your kind of Christmas shopping um, super duper easy. Um, so we can offer um, delivery to your desk, be it for a huge wish list that you wanted to create, or be it just literally one tiny hamper. We um, we will go out for everyone. Um, we do bespoke campers as well. So if you wanted to um, offer kind of bespoke gifting, we can get those made up for you. And we also offer a corporate um, hamper guide as well, which we can send out after um, this call. Um, we do um, gift lists as well. So if you even want to, if it's super duper easy for you to WhatsApp us your gift list, um, you can WhatsApp. I know that's the preferred method of communication. Finally, everyone... At, um, at the moment um, and then we also um, do from like beauty to wines um, to the gift card as well so if you can't think of what to get someone um, we can offer gift cards and we can do that on a corporate level as well um, and there are discounts if you are buying um, through corporate um, but that's kind of really short and sweet from us guys here at Selfridges um, do get in touch if there's anything we can help you with um, but yeah that's it really super duper simple and easy <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. Thank you, Joe. Anyone's, anyone's got any questions for Joe? If you can pop those in the chat box, we'd love to be able to kind of answer those if you've got anything particular, or we can send out Joe's details to you afterwards yeah. as well. So, cool. Thank you so much, Joe. Really appreciate it. Happy shopping. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so last but not least, drum roll, please. Um, <laughs> We have got the newest uh, hotel opening in Birmingham um, and the lovely Jack. How are you, Jack? Oh, oh is he frozen? Me. No, I can't Jack. hear you. Oh my God, that's a bit of an anti-climax, Jack, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Jack, are you there? You. Yeah, I'm here. Ah, oh, that's it. <laughs> You can hear me? Yes. Yeah, we can hear you. Perfect. Well, um, well that's a good start, isn't it? Technical error before you <laughs> even started. I'm actually coming to you live from the ballroom. Unfortunately, <laughs> I'm not actually there right now. Um, we've got a lot going on. All the furniture's being moved in as we speak. We've got the keys. I did have an exclusive for the PA forum that on the date we're going to be opening, um, but we were scooped this morning by the Birmingham Mail, which is a bit of a shame. So 4th of November which is a Wednesday, will be our official opening date. So it'd be great to welcome everybody then. Unfortunately, due to the current circumstances, we won't be able to do um, a grand opening party or anything as we originally had planned. Uh, but still, it's a great opportunity to pop in, um, have a look around. There'll be plenty of staff on standby if you want to come 
any time during that week to see all of the meeting spaces, um, rooms, any of that sort of stuff. But what I'm going to do as well, I'll um, do a quick presentation like everybody else has done. And also, I've already shared our um, Christmas brochure into the speech uh, box as well. So hopefully everybody can see that. So here we are. Um, rather than talk about Christmas, because I think Christmas, like the others have already said, has is, is unfortunately taken a bit of a back step. Uh, with Boris's announcements last week. I'm going to describe a little bit about the hotel and what's happening. So um, it's been 18 years since the, ho the hotel uh, closed its doors. And since then, it's gone through a bit of a torrid time. But we, um, we're actually owned by Starwood Capital. So they've invested £45 million in the building. So the buildings remain the same, but they've taken everything back uh, to bare bones and then rebuilt it. Um, so all of the fixtures and fittings are modern, but we've tried to remain, uh, retain as much of the original building as possible. So you'll see that as we go through. So 1879 was when the building was first built. So it's icon to Birmingham. Um, it, it's actually been around since before the Birmingham was a city, to give you an idea of, of how important it is to, to the city itself. Um, very famous, very famous guests through the years. So we've had everyone from Charlie Chaplin, um, Winston Churchill, Malcolm X actually gave his last speech uh, at the Grand when he was in the UK. And unfortunately, he went back to America and it was uh, only a week's time before he was assassinated. So it's got a lot of history as well. Um, and then this is probably the main, the main thing people want to see. These are all CGI's, unfortunately. I don't have any current imagery um other than a couple of rooms which i'll show you afterwards so we have retained the original staircase so new marble throughout with the original staircase um on the fourth level we've got the terrace area which i know a lot of people are very excited about so we can do drinks out there um there is a, a sort of light bites dining menu as well that will take place outside for those smaller groups um of the 185 rooms we've got 15 suites so uh, there's a lot, lot of different room types in there. The largest is a two floor penthouse, which actually interconnects with another suite to create um, an incredible space. It's actually gonna work really well for some uh, event spaces as well. Um, and that overlooks St. Philip's Cathedral and the, um, and the park around that space. So it gives you that iconic Birmingham uh, image. And there's a bit of a, a closer image of the terrace area in real life actually I, I don't think the cgi does it justice and our uh most famous room is obviously the grand ballroom so this has so much history and i, I feel really proud that we've been able to retain a lot of that history so the light fittings um we've actually been able to retain the original light fittings from the 1920s they are have been updated <laughs> Can you all hear me okay? They have been updated with um, some, modern, some modern features as well, but all the plaster work and everything remains very similar to how it would have looked during that time. Um, on normal occasions, we can host up to 350 guests in the ballroom. Um, with current guidelines, once everything reopens, if we go with the one meter social distancing, you're probably looking at around 200. Um, and I'll show you quickly the next space. So uh, we are going to open sort of as a soft opening initially uh, when the building reopens, but we will be opening our French themed cocktail bar, uh, which is named Madeleine. Um, and that will also act uh, as our restaurant in the initial stages of opening with a standalone uh, iconic restaurant due to open next year, obviously subject to, to current circumstances. Our bedrooms. So as I mentioned, we've got 15 suites um, and the largest of which is the, is the double penthouse. Um, but room rates are due to start, you should be able to book, sorry, from next week, all being well. Um, and our opening offer will be £129 
for our starting rates. Um, dinners, so private dinners will start from £50 upwards. Um, again, because we are in Birmingham, we, we're still limited to six guests um, from the same household as Dan already mentioned earlier. Hopefully things will change and we can start having the bigger, bigger groups in through the door. Um, but if anybody's got anything that they want me to look at for next year, obviously, uh, just drop me some information and we'd be more than happy to look. I think most people will know where we are. Um, directly opposite St. Philip's Cathedral in the heart of Colmore Row. Um, yeah, please pop by. Our entrance actually is going to be on Church Street. So a lot of people have, are still confused about where, where the main entrance is going to be. It's going to be on Church Street um, next to Gusto. So if you know that area of the city, um, come and see us. And that's it. That's it. That's all um, the grand. You have a question, Jack. Yeah. Hey, have you got um, a swimming pool on the roof? Mm. We don't, no. No. And no. what about um, in terms of in terms of outside space, so the garden, for example. Yeah. Um, when's that bookable from? When can you book the garden for drinks or something? If you wanted to come with your friends or family. I mean, obviously subject to COVID. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's probably the biggest question, I think, is the is the COVID. So um, the space is usable from when we open. There's no yeah. issues um, for smaller groups um, can, yeah. can book straight away as long as they're within the six person, uh, same household under current yeah. circumstances. Um, and then as soon as, yeah, as soon as things change, obviously we can then take bookings. Is it, is it, groups. Is it covered, the, the garden room? No. The, the, is it outside? No, no. no, it's outside, yeah. Oh, it is outside, no cover. No cover. Okay. okay. I think we all agree it looks absolutely stunning. And yeah. we can't, me, and Una, me and Una are going and we can't wait to go, can we? I'm so Una? excited. I'm actually going into the office for it, especially. <laughs> I, can see a, I can see a few questions there. So there is heat, obviously yeah. it, is, it is heated, so it's not covered, um, but there is sort of the wooden gazebo effect on the terrace area with heating. But it's okay. just not, it's not an indoor space, so it's not got a roof. Okay. okay. Fantastic. Right. Thank you so much, Jack. So um, we'll send out a follow-up to you all, and we'll, yeah. we'll include all of the um, speakers for today in the email. If you've got any direct inquiries or want to talk to them, you know, you can obviously drop them a lot. We'd love to hear from you and get your feedback. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to join us for the next show tonight, yeah. we're going to be on Tuesday the 20th of October, one o'clock, and on that day we will have uh, Dish New, one of the newest restaurants that's opened in Birmingham, but they also have restaurants across the country. We have the IHG Hotel Collection, that includes the Intercontinental Park Lane and some of the hotels across the country in Oxford, uh, all the way up to Scotland. Um, if you're looking for a break, Christmas. We have the Partnership Collection, who will be talking about wreath making, um, tasting boxes, um, and wine tasting boxes. Lisa Sweet Treats, who also does lots of sweet things for you for Christmas. And again, that can be delivered anywhere across the country. And we also have Ecole, which is like, again, one of the newest venues. We hope that you will be able to join us. We'll yeah. send out the link for you to book on. Um, and we'll also share this recording with you as, as last week's recording. So if you need some inspiration, you can always log on and have a look. Yeah. But yeah, thank you everybody for joining us. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Speakers today as well. Great yeah. to see you. Thank you, Rob. Thank you. Beg your Oh, oh, Bye. 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 <laughs> Bye. Thanks. Bye. Bye. <laughs>